Welcome everybody to the Arizona State and in this video we will be practicing drive it and squeezes for Arizona State and I hope that you will enjoy uh, while practicing with me while solving the quizzes with me so let's get started so uh, you can find out the US practice test website and I am pasting the link in the description so you can directly go from there so I'm going to click on US driving test and these are the different states of US so you can find out the Arizona from here and Arizona is the third one click and here uh, we have total 10 quizzes that we need to cover and we are covering from quiz number one to quiz number five in this video and i'm also giving you the link in the description of the second part of the arizona state uh, which have quiz number six to quiz number ten so let's start with practice driving test number one which have 19 questions the first question is when you enter traffic from a stop away from the curb you the right answer of this question is need a large enough gap to get up to the speed of traffic so i'm going to click on the second option yeah this is the correct one and next the second question of quiz number four is you come to an intersection which is blocked by other traffic you should the right answer of second question is stay out of the intersection until you can pass through so i'm going to click on the third option yeah next the third question is what should you do when you are going to enter a roadway from a private road the right answer of this question is yield the right of way to pedestrians and road away traffic so i'm going to click on the last option which should be the right one yeah this is the correct one and next the driver's left arm and hand are extended downwards and hand signal means that the driver plans to the right answer of this question is stop so i'm going to click on the third option next you are about to make a left turn you must signal continuously during the last blank feet before the turn the right answer of this question is 100 so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next to turn left from a multi-lane one-way street onto a one-way street you should start your turn from the right answer of this question is the lane closest to the left curb correct and next you drive along a street and hear a siren you cannot immediately see the emergency vehicle you should the right answer of this question is pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your straight so let's click on the second option this is the correct one and we will move to the eighth question of quiz number four if you are driving on an interstate freeway and a car is attempting to merge into your lane you should the right answer of this question is if possible safely make room for the merging vehicle so i'm going to select the first option correct and we will move to the second last question of quiz number four the question is when parking uphill on a two-way street with no curb your front wheel should be the right answer of this question is turn to the right away from the street so i'm going to select the second option okay. the last question is you want to turn right at the next intersection you should begin to use your turn signal the right answer is at least 100 feet before the turn so i'm going to click on the third option yeah this is the correct one the first question is in a parking space reserved for people with disabilities a non-disabled driver the right answer of this question is the last one which is may neither park stop nor stand which is the last one yeah next the second question is if you are parked parallel to the curb you may get out of the car on the traffic side the right answer is when you will not interfere with oncoming vehicle which is the third option and let's go on the third one yeah correct and next a no parking sign at a certain location means the right answer is you may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers which is the second option yeah and next you may not park your vehicle the right answer of this question is the second one which is next to a red painted curb so i'm going to click on the second option this is the correct one and next before you leave a parking space which is parallel to the curb you should so you can choose the third answer which is look for traffic by turning your head next the sixth question is when parking your vehicle parallel to the curb on a level street the right answer of this question is your wheel must be within 18 inches of the curb which is the second option right and next the seventh question is assuming that the street is level what should you do after you have finished parallel parking in a space between two other cars the right answer of this question is the last one which is straighten your front wheels and leave room between cars so I'm going to click on the last option and next. It is illegal to park your vehicle. 
द राइट आंसर ऑफ एट्थ क्वेश्चन इज इन एन अनमार्क्ड क्रॉस वॉक विच इज द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन एंड नेक्स्ट अ नो पार्किंग साइन एट अ सर्टन लोकेशन मीन्स सो यू कैन चूज सेकेंड ऑप्शन विच इज यू मे स्टॉप टेम्परली टू लोड और अनलोड पैसेंजर्स सो सेकेंड ऑप्शन राइट नेक्स्ट यू मे नॉट पार्क यूर व्हीकल सो अगेन यू कैन चूज सेकेंड ऑप्शन विच इज नेक्स्ट टू अ रेड पेंटेड कर्ब सो एम क्लिक ऑन द सेकेंड ऑप्शन राइट एंड नेक्स्ट यू मे नेवर पार्क The right answer of eleventh question is in a crosswalk, which is the third option. So I'm going to click on the third one, right? And next, a driver may park in a space reserved for people with disabilities if the vehicle displays license plates for the disabled. So the third option is the right one, which is and is carrying the disabled person named on the registration. Correct. And next, the third last question of quiz number five is a no standing sign at a certain location means. so you can choose the third option which is you may stop temporarily to pick up or discharge passengers so third option second last question is a no stopping sign means that unless directed to do so by a policeman you may stop only so the right answer of 14th question is to avoid conflict with other traffic so i'm going to click on the second option yeah and next last question is if you are parked parallel to the curb you may get out of the car on the traffic side The right answer of last question is when you will not interfere with oncoming vehicle. So I'm going to click on the third option. This is the correct one. So the first question of quiz number one is which of the following statement is true about B A C blood alcohol content? So the right answer of this question is the breathalyzer is a test of person's B A C. So I'm going to click on the first option. Yeah, this is the right one. The second question is. What kinds of drugs other than alcohol can affect your driving ability? The right answer of second question is all of these choices. So I'm going to click on the last option. This should be the right one, and we will move to the next question. The third question is what does alcohol do to your driving skills and judgment? The right answer is it harms both driving skills and judgment. This is the right one, and we will move to the next. The fourth question is which of the following does alcohol affect? So the right answer is. all of these choices so i'm going to click on the last option which of the following does not happen after drinking so the right answer is you calm down so you can concentrate so i'm going to click on the last option the sixth question of quiz number 1 is if you drink alcohol socially what helps ensure safe driving so the right answer of this question is ride home with a friend who has not been drinking so i'm going to click on the second option this should be the right one what effect does drinking alcohol and taking a prescription drug or over the counter medicine have the right answer is the combination could multiply the effect of the alcohol so i'm going to click on the third option next what effect might alcohol and another drug have when combined in your blood the right answer is increase the effects of both so i'm going to click on the first option next what are the consequences that can result from driving under the influence of alcohol or other drugs so i'm going to select the last one which is all of these choices the 10th question of quiz number 1 is which of the following influence the effects of alcohol the right answer is all three choices so i'm going to select the last option which should be the right one next It is illegal for a person under 21 years of age to drive with a blood alcohol concentration BAC that is the right answer is 0.01% to 1/100th of 1% or more so looking like the second option is the right one next on average the human body can dispose of the alcohol in 12 ounces of beers in about the right answer is 1 or next Blood alcohol content (BAC) depends on each of the following except the right answer is how physically fit you are. So let's click on the last option. Correct. The fourteenth question is drinking coffee after drinking alcohol. The right answer of this question is has no effect on blood alcohol content. So I'm going to select the third option. Next, if you drive after drinking, be aware that alcohol affects. The right answer is all of these. Next. What happens to your driver's license if you refuse to take a chemical test, breath or blood? The right answer of this question is your driver's license will be taken away. So I'm going to click on the third option. Next. A driver who is taking a non-prescription drug should the right answer is read the labels on the drug before driving. So let's click on the first option. Next. The second last question of quiz number 1 is A chemical test is used to measure. The right answer of this question is 
blood alcohol content so i'm going to click on the second option next the last question is what is the only effective way to reduce your blood alcohol content the right answer of this question is allow your body time to get rid of alcohol so i'm going to click on the third option yeah this is the correct one the first question is if you are stopped by a police officer you should the right answer of this question is stay in your vehicle with your hands on the steering wheel and wait for the officer to approach you so let's click on the third option next the second question is the zero tolerance law reduced the blood alcohol content bac from 0.08 percent to blank for drivers under 21 to be charged with driving under the influence the right answer is 0.02 percent so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next the third question is if you are involved in a crash you must the right answer of this question is stop help any injured report the crash to the police exchange information and notify your insurance company so let's click on the third option correct and next for a first conviction for driving under the influence at any blood alcohol concentration level you could the right answer is pay a fine of at least 300 dollars so i'm going to click on the last option correct and next if you are arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol and you refuse to take the blood test you will receive a the right answer is driver's license suspension so i'm going to click on the third option next if a police officer requires you to take a blood breath or urine test the right answer is must take the test or your license will be suspended so i'm going to click on the last option which should be the right one this is correct and next if you are under age 21 and are convicted of driving under the influence of alcohol you will receive a blank license suspension for a first offense the right answer is one year so i'm going to click on the last option and next if a person under 21 years old consume alcohol but it is not driving a motor vehicle the penalty for a first offense is the right answer of this question is a 90 days driver lesson suspension and up to a 500 dollars fine so i'm going to click on the first option correct next question one of the penalties for driving under the influence of alcohol is a the right answer is attendance to school highway safety school so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next it is against the law for anyone under the age of 21 to blank alcohol the right answer is transport so let's click on the last option correct and next if you are under age 21 and are convicted of carrying a false id card you will be required to pay a 500 dollar fine and your license will be suspended for 90 days so the right answer of this question is even if you were not driving so the second option is the right one parental consent to conduct breath blood and urine tests is the right answer is not required so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next the third last question of question number one is it is against the law for everyone under the age of 21 to blank alcohol the right answer is consume correct and we will move to the second last question of quiz number one people under 16 years of age who use a fast identification card to buy alcohol will the right answer is receive a driving suspension that starts on their 16th birthday correct and next the last question of quiz number three is if under 21 years of age you are considered to be driving while under the influence if your blood alcohol level is the right answer of this question is 0.02 percent or higher so let's click on the last option yeah this is the correct one okay the first question is at night it is hardest to see the right answer of this question is pedestrian so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next the second question is to pass a slower moving vehicle on a two lane road you must the right answer of this question is use that lane that belongs to oncoming traffic so i'm going to click on the last option which should be the right one the third question is when driving on a freeway entrance ramp you should look for a gap in freeway traffic by the right answer is looking in your mirrors and turning your head to look over your shoulder so it seems like the last option is the right one so i'm going to click on the last option correct and next the fourth question is highway hypnosis is a driver condition that can result from the right answer is staring at the roadway for long periods of time so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next the fifth question is on a two-lane road you may pass another vehicle on the right when the right answer is 
the driver you are passing is making a left turn so i'm going to click on the last option correct and next seat belts can be most effective as injury preventive devices when they are worn by the right answer of sixth question is passengers and the driver whenever they are in the car so i'm going to click on the last option which should be the right one yeah and next planes can happen more often when the right answer is one vehicle is traveling faster or slower than the flow of the traffic so looking like the third option is the right one yes and next when you are merging onto a freeway you should be driving the right answer is at or near the same speed as the traffic on the freeway so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next the ninth question is it is best to keep a space cushion the right answer of ninth question is on all sides of the vehicle so looking like the last option is the right answer and next tenth question is always use your seat belt the right answer is when the vehicle is equipped with seat belt so let's click on the third option and next the eleventh question is which of the following statements about blind spots is true so i'm going to click on the second option which is large truck have bigger blind spots than most passenger vehicles so next when you drive through an area where children are playing you should expect them the right answer of this question is to run out in front of you without looking so i'm going to click on third option correct and next when driving near a blind pedestrian who is carrying a white cane or using a guide dog you should the right answer is slow down and be prepared to stop so first option and next an orange triangle on the back of vehicle indicates that vehicle the right answer is travels at slower speed than normal traffic so third option should be the right one yes and next a safe speed to drive your car the right answer is depends on the weather and road conditions so this one is the right one and next drivers entering a roundabout or traffic circle so i'm going to click on the second option which is must yield to drivers in the roundabout or traffic circle so second one yes and next on two lane two way streets or highways you should start left turn the right answer is close to the center line yes and next when traveling behind a motorcycle the right answer is allow at least 4 seconds of following distance which is the third one next the only time you do not have to stop for a school bus whose red lights are flashing and stop arm is extended is when you the right answer is are driving on the opposite side of a divided highway so seems like the first option is the right answer yes and next you are waiting to turn left at a multi lane intersection and opposing traffic is blocking your view you should the right answer is until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn and next when a truck driver behind you wants to pass your vehicle your speed should the right answer is remain steady or decrease so first one yes and next u turns in residential district are legal the right answer is across two sets of solid double yellow lines so i'm going to click on the third option yes and next drivers who eat and drink while driving the right answer is have trouble controlling their vehicles so last option should be the right one and next you need to use extra caution when driving near a pedestrian using a white cane because he or she is blind which is the third one yes and next Allowing a space cushion is important because it the right answer is allows you time to react to situations so i'm going to click on the second option and next to make a right turn at the corner you the right answer of 26th question is must merge into the bicycle lane before turning which is the third one and next after a train has passed you should the right answer is the first one which is check again for approaching trains and proceed with caution so correct and next four second rule refers to how one should the right answer is the third one which is follow another car next you can park and leave your car the right answer is one of the above so i'm going to click on the last option and next the law gives blank the right of way at intersections the right answer of this question is no one which is the first one next the 31st question is preparing to smoke and smoking while driving the right answer is are distracting activities so let's click on the third one next 
teenage drivers are more likely to be involved in a crash when the right answer is they are driving with teenage passengers so it seems like the third option is the right one and next and entering a freeway so you can select second option which is you must yield the right of way to vehicle already on the freeway correct and next and exiting a highway you should slow down the right answer is once you have moved into the exit lane which is the third one yeah and next under normal conditions a safe following distance between your car and the car ahead is 3 seconds behind the vehicle you follow which is the third option again next at an intersection with a stop sign you should stop and so it seems like the last option is the right one look both ways ahead and ensure it is clear and safe before moving off so i'm going to click on the last option next if you want to get off from a freeway but you missed your exit you should so you can choose first option which is go to the next exit and get off the freeway there right and ne next if you are following a truck that swings left before making a right turn at an intersection you should remember that it is very dangerous to so again you can choose first option which is try to squeeze between the truck and curb to make a right turn so first option this is the correct one and next if you stop at a red road crossing with more than one truck so wait until you have a clear view of all trucks which is the first one right and next minimum speed signs are designed to the first option is again the right one which is keep traffic flowing smoothly right and next when entering a highway from an entrance ramp you should generally so you can choose last option which is accelerate to the speed of traffic right and next to avoid last minute moves you should be looking down the road to where your vehicle will be in about blank so second option is the right one which is 10 to 15 seconds correct and next if you are driving behind a motorcycle you must so you can choose first option which is allow the motorcycle to use a complete lane first option you have selected the correct one and next when sharing the road with a truck it is important to remember that in general trucks so take longer distance than car to stop which is the first again right and next the most important thing to remember about speed management and curves is to the right answer is slow down before you enter the curve which is the second option yeah i selected the right one and next on long trips you can prevent drowsiness by the right answer is the third one which is stopping at regular intervals for a rest this is the correct one and next your lane position should blank so you can choose second option which is protect your lane from other drivers so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next when no signs signals or police tell you what to do at an intersection the law states that so the last one is the right one which is drivers turning left must yield to drivers going straight through the intersection so last option you have selected the right one and next you drive defensively when you keep your eyes moving to look for possible hazards which is the third one and this should be the right one yeah right next to turn left on multi lane streets and highways you should start from the left lane which is the third one next when passing a bicyclist you should so you can choose second option which is move as far left as possible so second option correct and next who must yield when a driver is turning and a pedestrian is crossing without a traffic light so the answer is the driver which is the second option and next one of the rules of defensive driving is stay alert and keep your eyes moving which is the second option again right and next second last question is when a school bus has its lights flashing and it stops arm extended you must so the right answer is stop at least 10 feet away from the bus which is the first option and next the last question is when passing on a multi lane highway so the right answer of last question is be sure the passing lane is clear which is the first option again this is the correct so we have done with the first five quizzes and i hope that you got a good knowledge after this video and i request you to don't forget to watch the second part as well so uh, when you will see the second part then the arizona state will be completed in this video we are covering from quiz number 6 to quiz number 10 and i am hoping that you have seen the first part if not then please go to the first part and solve these quizzes first and then you can join us so let's start with the quiz number 6 here we go the first question is a solid yellow line next to a broken yellow line means that vehicle so the right answer of first question is next to the broken line may pass which is the second option correct and next second question is you may drive off from the paved roadway to pass another vehicle 
the right answer of second question is under no circumstances so i am going to click on the third option which should be the right one yes and next you are driving in the middle lane on a three lane expressway a car begins to pass you on the right the action of that driver are so you can choose the last option which should be the right one which is okay if no signs forbid passing on the right correct and next when you want to overtake and pass another vehicle you should so you can choose the third option which is signal and pass when safe to do so correct and next after you have passed a car you should return to the right lane when you so it seems like the four option is the right one which is see the other cars headlights come on fourth one next you may pass another vehicle on the right if it is waiting for so the right answer is turn left next you may cross double yellow line to pass another vehicle if the so the right answer of seventh question is yellow line next to your side of the road is broken right next the eighth question is in which of the following situations is passing always forbidden so the third option is the right one which is the vehicle ahead is stopped for a pedestrian in a crosswalk third option correct and next if you plan to pass another vehicle you should not assume the other driver will make space for you to return to your lane so first option right and next what does it mean when a school bus is stopped and its red lights are flashing so the right answer of 10th question is you may not pass while the red lights are flashing so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next 11th question is when passing another vehicle it is safe to return to your lane if you cannot see the vehicle directly to your light so second option so the right answer of 11th question is see the vehicle's headlights in your rear view mirror so first option right and next second last question is in general you should pass vehicles going in the same direction as you are going so you can choose the second option which is on the left and next the last question is the car behind you begins to pass you you should so the right answer of last question is slow down slightly and stay in your lane this is the correct one and this is the end of quiz number six so we are done with the quiz number six and now it's time to move to the next one which is quiz number seven actually and it has 39 questions so let's click on that the first question is what does a slow moving vehicle emblem look like so the right answer of this question is a triangular orange sign so let's click on the last option correct and next second question is if you begin to feel tired while driving the best thing to do is so looking like the third option is the right one which is stop driving correct and next taking drugs along with alcohol so the right answer of third question is increase the risk of causing a crash so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next if you have a tire blowout you should so you can choose the second option which is let the car slow to a stop you have selected correct answer and next you are driving on the freeway the vehicle in front of you is large truck you should drive so again you can choose the second option which is farther behind the truck than you would for a passenger vehicle right and next Sixth question is you want to back out of your driveway you see children playing nearby before you start to move your car you should so it seems like the third one is the right one which is walk to the back of the car to be sure the way is clear so third option correct and next crashes in work zones are most commonly the result of so the fourth option is the right one which is carelessness and speeding right next a bicyclist differs from a motorist in that he is not required to so the right answer is insure the bicycle correct and next after an emergency vehicle passes you with its siren on you must so the right answer of ninth question is avoid driving close than 500 feet behind the emergency vehicle so third option and next what is the intention of the driver when he extends his left arm straight out as shown so the first one is the right one which is turning left so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next the extra space in front of a large truck is need for so the right answer of 11th question is the truck driver to stop the vehicle so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next when driving through a work zone it is a good safety practice too so the right answer is lengthen your usual following distance by double so last option correct and next Teenagers should try to get at least blank of sleep each night to avoid the risk of drowsy driving crashes. So I'm going to click on the third option which is 8 hours. Right and next. If someone is driving aggressively behind you, you should. 
so you can choose the first option which is try to get off the aggressive driver's way so i'm going to click on the first option correct right, and next the 15th question is dim your headlights of oncoming vehicles or when you are within 300 feet of a vehicle so the right answer is the first one which is you are approaching from behind correct right, and next when a school bus stops to load or unload children vehicles traveling in the same direction as the bus must so the last one is the right one which is stop until all persons are clear and the bus moves again and next a pedestrian is crossing your lane but there is no marked crosswalk you should stop and let the pedestrian cross the street third option is the right one if another driver cuts you off in traffic you should so you can choose the second option which is ignore the other driver right and next at intersections crosswalks and red road crossing you should always so again second option is the right one which is look to the side of your vehicle to see what is coming right next the 20th question is a blind person illegally has the right of way when crossing the street when he is the right answer is led by a guide dog or using a white or metallic cane so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next if your blood alcohol level is 0 0.04 you so the right answer is are two to seven times more likely to have a crash than a person who has not consumed any so the first option is the right one yeah next a motorist should know that a bicyclist operating on a roadway must so the right answer is ride on the right side of the road so first option should be the right one yeah and next Motorist should be aware that all bicycles used after dark must have so the right answer is front headlights and red tie lights and next when you hear a fire engine siren you must so the right answer is the third one which is pull over to the side of the road and stop you have selected the correct one and next a large truck is ahead of you and is turning right onto a street with two lane in each direction the truck the right answer is may have to swing wide to complete the right turn and next when can you drive in a bike lane the right answer is when you are within 200 feet of a cross street where you plan to turn right so second option again correct and next the effect that lack of sleep has on your safe driving ability is the same as the effect that alcohol has so the first option is the right one blank limits your concentration perception judgment and memory so the right answer is the first one only a blood alcohol level greater than the legal limit so the right answer of 28th question is even the smallest amount of alcohol which is the third option correct right? and next if your car breaks down on a highway you should so you can choose the second option which is use your four-way flashers to warn other drivers so second option next when driving on a one-way street and an emergency vehicle with flashing light is behind your car you drives toward the nearest roadside and stop which is the second option and next a motorist approaching a bicyclist should the right answer is exercise extreme caution so i'm going to click on the last option and next as alcohol builds up in your blood it the right answer is slow down your reactions so i'm going to click on the first option and next if another car is in danger of hitting you you should the right answer is sound your horn which is the first option correct and next when you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights you must the right answer of 34th question is pull to the curb and stop so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next if you drive faster than other vehicles on a road with one lane in each direction and continually pass the other car you will increase your chances of an accident so i'm going to click on the second option yeah and next for an average person how many minutes does the body need to process the alcohol in one drink so again second option which is the 60 next the last question is on a road which has no sidewalk a pedestrian should walk on the so the right answer is the last one which is side of the road which has the heaviest traffic correct right? and next the second last question is there is no crosswalk and you see a pedestrian crossing your lane ahead you should so you can choose the third option which is stop and let him her finish crossing the street correct right? and next a school bus ahead of you in your lane is stopped with red lights flashing you should so you can choose the third option which is stop as long as the red lights are flashing so third option this is the correct one and this is the end of quiz number eight. First seven quizzes are done and now we are going to move to the next one which is quiz number eight and it has 36 questions so let's click on practice driving test number eight actually so click here we go the first question is roads freeze more quickly when they are so the right option is the last one which is shaded 
Yeah, next. Second question is when your right wheels run onto a soft shoulder, what is the best way to get back on the highway? So the right answer of second question is the second option, which is ease your foot off the gas and brake gently. Next, when driving at night on a dimly lit street, you should. So the right answer of third question is drive slowly enough so you can stop within the area lighted by your headlights, which is the first option. Correct. And next, when driving in fog, you should use your blank. The right answer is low beam headlights, which is the first one again. Correct. And next, you are getting on a highway which has a very short entrance lane. The safest way for you to enter the flow of the traffic would be to the right answer of fifth question is wait for a large gap in traffic, then speed up quickly. So I'm going to click on the third option. Correct. And next, when you drive at night, you can reduce the problem of glare from the headlights of an approaching car by so the right answer is looking to the lower right side of your lane. Yeah. And next hydro planning can be helped by driving. So the right answer is slow, which is the third option. Correct. And next expressways have express entrance lanes, acceleration lane so that drivers can reach the proper speed before blending with traffic. So I'm going to click on the third option. Correct. And next when you get ready to leave an express, you should begin to use your turn signal. So the right answer of ninth question is 100 feet before the exit ramp. So the third option. Correct. And next. The tenth question is hydro planning is usually caused by the right answer of tenth question is the last one, which is excessive speed. So I'm going to click on the last option. And next. Roadways are the most slippery. The right answer of eleventh question is the first rain after a dry spell, which is the third option. Correct. And next. When you drive in heavy fog during daylight hours, you should drive with your so the right answer of 12th question is headlights on low beam. So I'm going to click on the third option. Correct. And next, if your brake pedal suddenly sinks to the floor, you should first try to pump it to build up the pressure, which is the first option. Next, why is driving on an expressway different from driving on an ordinary street? So the right answer of 14th question is the first one, which is you must think faster and handle your vehicle more effectively. And next, distracted drivers are at a greater risk of a crash when they are using which of the following the right answer of 15th question is all of the above correct and next roads are slippery after it first starts to rain when the road is slippery you should avoid making fast turn and fast stops so the first option should be the right one yeah and next your car starts to skid on a slippery road you should the right answer is steer in the direction you want the front wheel to go so third option should be the right one and this is the correct one we have selected correct answer and next when attempting to stop on a slippery road the best action to take is to the right answer is apply the brakes in slow steady strokes so second option and next when driving at night be sure that you can stop within the distance you can see ahead which is second option again and next animals may be transported in the back of a pickup truck only if they are properly secured which is second option correct and next when approaching a stop school bus with its red lights flashing and its stop arm extended, you must. The right answer of 21st question is stop and remain stop until the red lights stop flashing and the stop arm has been withdrawn. Yeah. And next. When driving in fog, you should use your low beams. And third option. Next. If you drive past your exit on expressway, you should. The right answer is drive to the next exit and leave the expressway so second option next when you are in a line of traffic that is crossing a railroad track that has no signals or gates the right answer is you need to make sure there is space to get all the way across the track without stopping before you start to cross so third option next when you drive through a construction zone you should pass the construction zone carefully and not ruben it. so third option and next compared to driving during the day driving at night is more dangerous which is a third option correct and next always stop before you cross railroad track when you do not have room on the other side to completely cross the track which is the first option correct and next roads become very slippery the right answer is for the first 10 to 15 minutes of a rainstorm third option correct and next if you are driving on an ICO slippery road and have to stop, 
the right answer of 29th question is apply brakes gently okay correct and next anything that requires you to blank could cause you to crash the right answer is all of the above and next when driving at night it is most important for you to the right answer of 31st question is drive within the range of your headlights so second option correct and next night driving is dangerous because the right answer is the distance we can see ahead is reduced so third option next it is very windy day you are driving and a dust storm blows across the freeway reducing your visibility you should drive slower and turn on your the right answer is headlights yeah next you have just left an expressway and are starting to drive on an ordinary highway you should the right answer of third last question is check your speedometer to keep at the lowest speed limit so second option yeah next second last question is which of the following statements applies to all driving emergency situations so the right answer of 35th question is think before you act so third option next the last question is if a tire blows out the proper things to do is the right answer of last question is hold the steering wheel firmly and ease up on the gas so second option yeah this is the correct one and this is the end of quiz number nine we are done with the first eight quizzes and now it's time to move to the second last quiz which is number nine actually so this quiz have 17 questions so i'm going to click on practice test number nine here we go the first question is you must yield for emergency vehicles the right answer is when you see a flashing red or blue lights or hear a siren so let's click on the second option correct and next the implied consent law is the right answer is you agree to a breath test when under arrest and suspected of drinking and driving which is the third one next mvc may terminate your road test before it starts because of so you can choose the last option which is all of the above so i'm going to click on the fourth one right and next you can practice drive with a valid special learner's permit between 5 a.m and 11 p.m which is the third option you have selected correct answer and next when driving in bad weather drivers should the right answer of fifth question is increase the two second road which is the third option correct and next when driving on major highways so you can choose the last option again which is the all of the above correct and next vehicle stopping distances never depend on the right answer is the time of day so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next the eighth question is you may drive on public or private property to avoid a traffic sign or signal the right answer is when directed to do so by a police officer which is the last option next if you are driving behind a school bus and it shows a flashing red lights signaling a stop you must the right answer is stop at least 25 feet away which is the first option and yeah next the tenth question is if your windshield wipers stop suddenly during rain or snow you should the right answer is all of the above which is the fourth one correct and next the eleventh question is what are some telltale signs of a drunk driver the right answer is again the fourth one which is all of the above correct and next it is important to slow down the right answer is all of the above so you can read the first three answers and then you will realize that the final answer is the right one correct and next a five ounce glass of wine contains the same amount of alcohol as so the right answer is one 12 ounce can of beer so the last option again correct and next if a collision is possible you should the right answer is all of the above which is the fourth one so i'm going to click on the fourth option quick and next the third last question is as you drive you must turn your headlights on so the right answer is all of the above next the 16th question is you need not stop your vehicle for a frozen desert truck van the right answer is you are on the other side of a safety island on a dual highway which is the fourth one Correct right. and next. The last question is as you drive, you are required to stop your vehicle. So you can read the first thing option and you will realize that the final answer is the right one, which is the all of the above. So I'm going to click on the last option. Yeah, this is the correct one. This is the end of the second last quiz. So it's time to move to the last quiz, which is number 10 actually. So I am going to click on practice driving test number 10. 
and it has 82 questions here we go the first question is what are the colors of the warning sign that indicate hazards ahead such as curve in the road or narrow bridges so the right answer of first question is black letters or symbols on a yellow background so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next a diamond shaped sign is a the right answer is road hazard sign so first option should be the right one yeah and next to prepare for anything coming up in the road ahead you should continually scan the entire road and road sides so first option again right and next your brake lights tell other drivers that you the right answer of fourth question is are slowing down or stopping so fourth option right and next which of these vehicles must always stop before crossing red road tracks the right answer is tank trucks marked with hazardous materials placards so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next the sixth question is as you near an intersection the traffic light changes from green to yellow your best action would be to the right answer is be prepared to stop before the intersection so last option should be the right one correct and next if a vehicle using high beams comes towards you you should look towards blank of the road the right answer is the right side so let's click on the third option and next unless otherwise posted the speed limit in a residential area is the right answer is 25 meter per hour next a red and white triangular sign at an intersection means the right answer is slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary so last option and next what does a flashing yellow light means the right answer is proceed with caution so second option next at highway speeds on a dry road a safe following distance is at least the right answer is four seconds of following distance from the car ahead of you so third option correct and next on a green arrow you must the right answer is yield to any vehicle bicycle or pedestrian in the intersection so first option correct and next what are the colors of a sign which tells you to the distance to the next exit of a highway so the right answer of 13th question is green with white letters so fourth option correct and next when driving in traffic it is safest to drive with the flow of traffic which is the last one next before passing another vehicle you should give the proper turn signal to show you are changing lanes so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next should you always drive slower than other traffic the right answer is no you can block traffic when you drive too slowly so first option correct and next your blind spot is the area of the road the right answer of 17th question is you cannot see without moving your head so first one again and next if an oncoming driver is heading towards you in your lane you should the right answer is steer right blow your horn and brake which is the third option correct and next a traffic light which has a green arrow and a red light means that the right answer is you must wait for a green light so the right answer of 19th question is you may drive only in the direction of the green arrow so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next when you tailgate other drivers drive close to their rear bumper the right answer is you can frustrate the other drivers and make them angry so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next you may cross a double yellow line to pass near the vehicle if the yellow line next to the right answer is your side of the road is a broken line so second one right and next and making a turn you must blank your speed the right answer is reduce which is the last option correct and next you are driving on a freeway posted for 65 mph most of the other vehicle are driving 70 mph or faster you may legally drive the right answer is no faster than 65 mph so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next all of the following practices are dangerous to do while driving which of these is also illegal the right answer is listening to music through headphones that covers both ears so i'm going to click on the first option correct and next the amount of space you need to cross traffic depends on the road and weather conditions and oncoming traffic so again the first option and next when driving on wet roads you should the right answer 26th question is increase following distance to 5 or 6 seconds so first option correct and next when traveling below 40 miles per hour on a limited access highway you should the right answer is use your four way flashers so i'm going to click on the last option correct and next if traffic prevents you from crossing all the way across a set of straight road tracks you may proceed only when 
the right answer of 28th question is there is room for your vehicle on the other side correct and next which of the following is true about driving on a wet roadway the right answer is as you drive faster your tires become less effective so the first option correct and next and driving on slick roads you should take turns more slowly again the first option next a solid white line on the right edge of the highway slants in towards your left that shows that the right answer of 31st question is the road will get narrower correct you see a signal person at a road construction site ahead you should obey his or her instructions the right answer is at all times so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next which of the following is used on some highways to direct drivers into the proper lanes for turning so the right answer is white arrows in the middle of the lane so fourth option correct and next you see a flashing yellow traffic signal at an upcoming intersection the flashing yellow light means the right answer of 34th question is slow down and cross the intersection carefully so i'm going to click on the third option correct and next when driving on wet roads you should drive 5 to 10 miles below the speed limit so again third option correct and next you are driving on a one way street you may turn left onto another one way street only if the right answer of 36th question is traffic on the street moves to the left so i'm going to select the third option and next which of the following must you obey over the other three so the right answer is a policeman so i'm going to click on the second option correct and next you must use your headlights when other vehicles are not visible from dash feet away the right answer is 1000 so first option correct and next which of the following is true about the speed at which you travel the right answer is the safe speed to drive depends on many conditions so let's click on the first option correct and next the most effective thing you can do to reduce your risk of getting injured or killed in a traffic crash is so let me choose the first option which is wear your seat belt so first option yeah next what is the appropriate action to take when approaching a red road crossing that does not have signals such as light or crossing gates the right answer is slow down and be prepared to stop next if a traffic signal light is not working you must stop then proceed when safe so first option correct and next you are approaching a red road crossing with no warning devices and are unable to see 400 feet down the track in one direction the speed limit is 15 mph so i'm going to go on the first option correct and next if your turn signals fail you should use dash to indicate you are turning so the right answer of 44th question is hand signals which is the third option correct and next you may drive around or under a gate that is being lowered or raised at a red road crossing the right answer is under no circumstances which is last option right and next to help avoid crashes you should The right answer of 46th question is communicate with other drivers on the road. Correct and next. For passing another vehicle, you should signal. The right answer is early enough so other know your plans. So last option, yeah, and next. Before changing lane on a multi-lane highway, you should check your mirrors and blind spots. Fourth one again. Next. You must obey instructions from school crossing guards. The right answer is. at all time so i'm going to click on the first option yeah and next what vehicle must stop what vehicles must stop at all red road crossing the right answer is school buses and passenger buses carrying passengers so second option correct and next allow a larger space cushion when stopping the right answer is on an uphill so first option should be the right one yeah next you should honk your horn when you see a child who is about to run into the street So I'm going to click on the third option. Yeah, this is the correct one. And next, drive below the post speed limit when anything makes condition less than perfect. So let's click on the first option. Correct. And next, when the road is marked with a solid yellow line and a broken yellow line on your side, you may pass. The right answer is if traffic is clear. Right. When you are planning to make a turn, you should activate your turn signals three to four seconds before you reach the intersection. So I'm going to click on the third option. correct and next sign of warning is a red road crossing so third option again right an intersection has a stop sign crosswalk but no stop line you must stop the right answer is before the crosswalk which is the first option 
and next you come to an you come to an intersection which has a flashing red lights you should come to a full stop then go when safe to do so so again first option should be the right one yeah right next if the rear or your vehicle starts to skid left you should the right answer is steer left and next before turning you should use your signal which is the first option again next the safest precaution that you can take regarding the use of cellular phones and driving is the right answer is use hands free devices so you can keep both hand on the steering wheel so first option again right and next your ability to stop is affected by the condition of the road which is the last option right and next what does road road sign mean the right answer is come to a full stop then go when it's safe to do so so i'm going to select the second option right and next fourth question is if an approaching train is near enough or going fast enough to be danger you must not cross the track until the train has completely passed so i'm going to go to the second option yeah next you may honk your horn when you the right answer is have lost control of your car so i'm going to click on the third option and next if you are involved in a traffic collision you are required to complete and submit a written report sr1 to the dmv the right answer is if there is property damage in excess of $750 or if there are any injuries. So I'm going to click on the second option. Correct. And next. You may cross a single solid white line in the highway. The right answer is if traffic condition requires. So I'm going to click on the second option. Correct. And next. Before backing up, you should. The right answer is the last one, which is turn your head and look through the rear window. So fourth option. And next. You may cross a double solid yellow line. The right answer is to turn into a driveway. So second option, right and next. Under no condition, the right answer is a three axle vehicle if the gross vehicle weight is less than 6,000 pounds. So I'm going to click on the first option, next. With a class C driver's license, a person may drive. The right answer is a vehicle pulling two trailers. Yeah, and next. If you need to slow down or stop when other drivers may not expect it, you should. The right answer is quickly tap your brake pedal a few times. So I'm going to click on the first option. Correct and next. You have been involved in a minor traffic collision with a parked vehicle and you can't find the owner. You must. The right answer is all above option. Correct and next. What can you do to avoid the need to make emergency or panic stop while driving in traffic? The right answer of this question is look ahead and maintain a safe following distance. So second option should be the right one. Correct right. and next. The 75th question is, you may not cross a single broken white or yellow line. The right answer is the first one, which is when to do so would interfere with traffic. So I'm going to click on the first option. Correct right. and next. You must notify the DMV within five days if you sell or transfer your vehicle. Again, first option, next. You just sold your vehicle. You must notify the DMV within how many days? The right answer is five. Next, you are driving on a freeway posted for 65 MPH. The traffic is traveling at 70 MPH. You may legally drive. The right answer is no faster than 65 MPH. So third option, right and next. A rectangular shaped sign is speed limit sign. So fourth one, right, next. When driving on slippery road, you should increase your following distance. So I'm going to click on the third option, right and next. If a vehicle using high beam comes toward you, you should, the right answer is flash your high beam. So fourth one, right? Next. The last question is when you park on the roadway, you should, the right answer is use your four way flasher. So I'm going to click on the first option. Yeah, this is the correct one. And this is also the end of all quizzes of California state. Stay tuned with us and thanks for watching the video. Now we are done with the Arizona state and we have solved all the 10 quizzes into two parts but we have covered these uh, quizzes. So thank you so much guys for your support and your feedback and I will see you in another state as well. Thank you so much.